Hey YouTubers, I am doing a request video here. I was asked, how do you send cards to PSA? By one of my YouTube friends or subscribers or just somebody who watches my videos. So, to start this out, PSA is a, the third... It's a third party grading company. It's the largest in the world in my opinion. And uh, basically it'll increase the value of your cards if they're in near mint condition or better. And to start it out, the website of PSA is psacard.com. On there, you'll find out that you could become a collector's club member which actually is what I am. There's two different memberships. There's a gold and there's a platinum membership. I have platinum. A uh, gold membership costs $110 and platinum is $189. And it's they cost more for international. And in the two different grading type things that you get in the the gold membership you get a uh, six grades included with the max price of the cards that you send in to get graded five hundred dollars and with the platinum membership you get fifteen grades which the same thing it could be worth up to five hundred dollars a piece and um, basically, PSA is to get your cards graded. I'm actually sending my second submission in to them in a couple of hours. So I have this video here. By the time I upload the video, the chances are that I've already shipped them out. And I'm going to show you the submission form and basically how to do this. First thing though is if you don't become a collector's club member, it per car to get graded it's fifteen dollars, which is super expensive. I know becoming a member is expensive too, but the benefits of it are a lot better than you may think. And first, I'm gonna show the submission form. So basically, on here it asks you for the type of sport. You put non-sport. For the card company, if it's Pokemon, you put Pokemon game. And then you put the year of what the actual card is. You could find this on the bottom of most of the cards, but the Wizards of the Coast cards, the grades, or the actual dates aren't correct. So you want to do research online for that. If you actually look up the, up on PSA, they will actually tell you all this stuff, and that's where I got the information. You give the card number, like, Gyarados EX is number 109 out of EX Fire Red and Leaf Green. It's 109 out of 112, but they only care about the first number. Here, card name, Gyarados EX. They probably want you to put Gyarados EX Hollow, but if, as you can see, you run out of room, so... I did it when I could, but other than that, whatever. Over in the right hand corner you have a declared value column. Basically you want to write what the card's worth. And back over here the quantity. If you send two of the same card in you put a two. Or if you send in three you put a three otherwise it's one for each card. As long as they're different cards. As for the sport and the card company columns, I just put an arrow all the way down. 
seeing how I'm sending Pokemon cards, they're all Pokemon cards, and they're all non-sports cards, so it just saves a lot of time. It would look way too complicated if I didn't put an arrow. Um, next, back to the declared value column. After you get done choosing how many cards that you're going to send in, you put the declared value of the total, you add all these prices up, and put the total there. As for this first sheet, out of 20 cards, it was $625. Chances are they're probably worth more, it's just I guesstimated. Also, with these card submission forms, each form can fit 20 cards. So, like me, I, I'm sending 45 cards, so I have three forms. I staple them all together at the top. Um, these forms, you could get them from psacard.com. Or you, you can print them out from there. Or when you become a member of the Collector's Club, they will actually send you forms with your subscription which they sent me I think five of them and I used one in my first thing sending out submission I have three here and then I have one left um, down here into the card grading box I typed in grade or checked grading or X or whatever I'm getting these graded. I'm not getting them crossed over from like BGS to uh, PSA or anything. There are all these different things that PSA offers. They offer like walkthroughs, premiums, Super Express, Express, regular. Regular is $15 a card. That's if all this stuff is if you're not a member. There's custom encapsulations, and cap, caps, whatever. You know what I mean. Reholders and a bunch of other stuff. They got autographed ones. They're more expensive. They also have another column. I'm a collector's club member, so basically, I check the other column. I typed in June Collector's Club Special, and I'm going with special number one, which is $6 per card. It's a 30 business day turnaround period, and you need to be a member to use specials, and the specials are listed on psacard.com. Then over here, they also have bulk services, but you still need to be a Collector's Club member to use. Basically, the box services that I'm using right now are even cheaper than this. We have a 10 card min minimum for uh, 10 bucks a card, a 50 card minimum for $8 a card, and a 100 card minimum for $6 a card. But it's usually the specials, monthly specials, are usually cheaper than even the bulk services. Like they are bulk service but services, but they're a special bulk service. Then you have bullet point three, grading feed calculation. I've got 45 cards that I'm sending, so you type in 45 times the price, which is the grading fee per card, which is $6 for me. And you add it up, the subtotal is $270 for the 45 cards and then you have the USPS shipping fee I'm doing priority mail so I check that uh, shipping cost me $35.95 just to ship the cards back to me with insurance that's based on how much the cards are worth and I'll go over that in a minute here we have the total charges in bullet point six. You add up, just add up uh, the grading fee plus the shipping fee. So it's basically $306.
and I'm paying with a check so I just wrote the check number if you pay with a Visa or a MasterCard or Amex or if you even pay with a money order you cannot pay with PayPal they will not accept it which sucks because I like PayPal you sign down here at the bottom right hand corner and you date it which is today's date and then I just got my other submission forms they're just the same thing because I'm sending multiple cards for the actual price for shipping it's on the back of these submission forms it's pretty hard to get this to focus but for the number of items with the total declared value so if you're getting one to eight cards graded it'll cost you seventeen dollars and fifty cents if the cards are worth less than a thousand dollars if you're getting nine to twenty five cards graded it'll cost twenty two dollars and fifty cents they're worth less than a thousand and if you're getting twenty six plus for each one over twenty five you add a quarter per card and if they're worth more than a thousand dollars these are the different prices like my base fee was thirty dollars and ninety five cents because they're worth I think twelve eighty so a thousand two hundred and eighty dollars they're probably worth more like eighteen hundred but I didn't calculate it right I didn't feel like it and for the fifteen additional after the twenty five I added a quarter piece which is five bucks or the extra 20 cards, which is a quarter piece, which is 5 bucks. Added it to 31, I get $36. That's where my shipping price comes in. Next, I got a box. Bubble wrap, like crazy. I got my cards wrapped up in bubble wrap and taped shut. The cards have to be sent in card saver ones. They will not accept anything different than these. So you can buy these off eBay. I got a thousand or a hundred of them for twelve dollars shipped. And finally. I printed a priority mail shipping label through PayPal. So I'm going to attach that to the top of the box once I close it up. It cost me $8.65. I, uh, I know what the weight of the stuff is because I have a scale to find out what it weighs. I've got a delivery confirmation number so I know when it gets there. So I'm sending it out today. It'll take me... 30 days or so to get it back, something like that, and they might be a little behind, like last time they were two, two and a half weeks behind. Um, I do write fragile all over everything I sell or send, and this is what a final card looks like through PSA. I've got a Gem Mint 10 Charizard EX here. It's in a protective case. This is an official PSA card. This is just what it comes back as. And it increases the value of a lot of these cards. So basically, if you have any more questions, you can either PM me or leave a comment. And I will try to answer them for you. And wish me luck on these grades. They're going out today, and I really hope that I get some awesome grades, so stay tuned for that, and sorry I won't be opening so many more packs, well, all too recent at least. I've got uh, bills to pay, my rent is $2,500, and my work checks barely even cover it, if they even do. They probably won't, so... Just going to take life one day at a time and hope for the best. So stay tuned. I will be getting Freeze Bolt and Cold Flare, the Japanese new sets. I'll get a box each of those when they come out next month. 
And when the new English set comes out, Dragon's Exalted, in two months, I'll be buying that too. So stay tuned for that, and I'll be uploading some other videos that I have laying around for the next month or so. I may buy a few packs here and there, but that's about it. So take it easy, and let me know if you got any questions. Bye.